Here's a little fact you can toss around to impress whomever it is you like to impress. About 71% of the world is covered by water. So it only makes sense that great minds are constantly coming up with new ways to clean up right on top of and dive deep down in our lakes and oceans. Now there's one idea that's skimming the surface of H2O travel, and the innovator came up with it by laying down on the job. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. This is Jason Woods, CEO of a company called Chimera, thoroughly enjoying his invention, an electric-powered bodyboard that lets you zip across the water at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. No experience needed. You might also be thinking, what is Chimera? The name Chimera started out as kind of a joke, because when I was trying to explain to people what I was going to build, it's sort of a jet ski and it's sort of a boogie board, and people really didn't understand it. It was just kind of this weird hybrid of things. And in biology, a chimera is basically an animal with two sets of DNA. So the chimera was born from that. I took a trip to Rancho Cordova, California, east of Sacramento to meet Jason and learn how building something easy to use and accessible to everyone isn't easy at all. Wow, so this is the chimera. This is it, this is where it all started. This is pretty much the first functional version. So there was four or five before this to finally get to something that that approximated workings, but this was a uh, very, very early attempts, all garage built, all handmade. It's carbon fiber shell, and it actually had a tiny little gas engine in it. So where'd you go from here? I had experience working with electric stuff, and that's where I really wanted to go, but the battery technology just didn't exist yet. Do you have uh, prototypes of the, of the electric version of this? Right over here. So this no. is actually the very first functional electric board we built. So this guy, Basically took everything that we were doing here and we evolved it. So the battery technology was really starting to emerge by the time we got to this guy. So we took the carbon fiber shell and some of the aesthetic and kind of evolved it into the next level. Jason's latest model uses a proprietary rechargeable battery and a shell made of lightweight watertight polyethylene plastic. But the electric propulsion system to push it through water didn't exist at the time. So we had to take on building our own. So this wonderful little unit right here was the product of a lot of years of work because building an electrically driven jet pump just had never been done. We were literally breaking ground on all of this stuff and we didn't want to assume anything. Taken more than a decade of work to develop every single component inside the thing, but we've built something pretty incredible. Of course, I wanted to ride it for myself. Jason and I took the electric boards to a nearby lake loaded our batteries, and got into the water. So start off, you want your arms to be stretched out to put the weight on the back. Right, so that lifts you up, and then get going. And then you'll skew forward, and you'll flatten out, and then that's where you'll get the, the best speed. It was literally as easy as lying on my stomach and pulling the throttle with one finger. And then, it was off to the races. And there's nothing like riding off into the sunset with your feet still in the water. 